Hey guys, what is up? Mage here doing another World of Tanks 360 review. Told you guys I was going to be uploading a little bit more off now that I got this new cap card. Uh, it has changed up uh, the process. I have to do live comms now in order to make this a lot more stress-free on my computer. But let's go ahead and get right into the review. Today, guys, we're going to be uh, kicking off my little quest to the Leopard 1. I'm going to be reviewing all the medium tanks uh, from Tier 5 all the way up to Tier 10 where the Leopard 1 sits. So I'm very excited. We're going to start off here with the Panzer 3-4. This is a tank that um, I would argue is meant to be if the Panzer IV is meant to be a more typical medium tank that kind of plays area dominance and snipes a little bit and plays a certain part of the map and then maneuvers around, then this is uh, the more aggressive flanking version. And um, I might add, the Panzer IV was very different then from when I first reviewed it to what I to what it is now. It now has um, you can now get the better turret on it. Used to you couldn't get that turret unless you were going to use the derp gun now you can use the 75 millimeter gun on it and you know it has a way higher rate of fire and of course its view range is even better than this tank but this is not a bad compromise if you like a more aggressive medium tank um, let's go ahead and get on into the packages here with the panzer 3-4 uh, starting off stock you will get a uh, a uh, 350 horsepower engine you will get a 75 millimeter L43 13.95 rounds a minute 103 pen 110 damage and then you have 2.29 aim time 0.40 accuracy I would argue this gun uh, going by memory I'm pretty sure it is better than the stock gun used on the Panzer IV the Panzer IV is using a stubby 75 millimeter gun so the pen isn't very good compared to this thing um, starting off at least. Uh, your tracks will give you 34 degrees of traverse. Turret armor is 50 millimeters in the front, 30 in the side and rear. Traverse speed is 44 and the view range is 320 meters of view range. Um, it's been a while since I played this tank stock and I can tell you it's alright. I mean bear in mind I first had this tank way back uh, when the game first released but this is a very good strong tank I can tell you I'm going by memory and if you're wondering why that if you're wondering why I don't have this package purchased that's why so let's go ahead and look at the uh, the package here you will uh, upgrade to a 440 horsepower engine uh, you is that the same gun there's no way is that the same gun looks to be yep it is the same gun same gun uh, you will get a new set of tracks that will give you 36 degrees of traverse uh, and your turret will give you 50 millimeters in the front, 30 in the side and rear, 44 traverse, and 320 meters of view range. Um, this was right around, I'm going by memory here once again, I'm pretty sure this is where the tank picked up and I started being a little bit more aggressive. Like I said, that 75 millimeter gun you get, it's a lot better than the gun, uh, the stock gun used on the Panzer IV. So I can tell you right now, this tank was not annoying stock like it was on the PZ-4. Uh, you could certainly use the gun a lot more efficiently you could be a lot more lethal with it but this is where the tank really picks up because you get the L4875 millimeter gun you upgrade to a 584 5 horsepower engine 585 horsepower you will get the 75 millimeter L48 13.95 rounds a minute 110 pen 110 damage 2.29 aim time 0.38 accuracy your tracks will remain at 36 and you will get a new turret which will give you 50 uh, millimeters of armor from the front and 30 in the side and rear 53 traverse and the view range will now be 30, 320 um, the impression I have from this tank is uh, it, it is blazing fast 50 55 kilometers an hour is not unusual for this thing and just you know giving you an FYI here this th that's pretty that is blazing fast even for most tier 10 mediums um, pretty damn quick. I mean, you use this tank to get into an advanced position. You can kind of play a scouting role, but you're looking to be a skirmishing, uh, flanking, sniping medium tank. Um, very difficult tank to fight against sometimes, uh, and it's a difficult tank sometimes to fight with. Bear in mind, I haven't played Tier 5 often, but, you know, the Panzer IV has a little bit more armor up front than this thing, so you don't want to be a little, you don't want to be too crazy getting into positions uh, fighting in this tank. It's a good overall tank. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and switch to some gameplay. Hopefully I got something good for you guys. Catch you guys back here in a moment. 
Alright guys, here we are on Himmelsdorf Night Encounter Battle. Hopefully, if I can get a good gameplay here. I've been having a tough go trying to get gameplays with this tank because it's tier 5 and all everybody YOLOs and shit. Um, let's go ahead and get equipment out of the way for the Panzer 3-4. Uh, I run coated optics and a rammer. That's just what I personally prefer to run on all my mediums. Uh, you can run vents on this tank, not a bad option. Really not a bad tank overall, and it's a tier 6 match, so it's not going to be easy. Um, if I had to compare this tank and say, you know, how good it is compared to the other tier 5 mediums, I think it just lacks when you compare it to the other ones. And that's not saying this is a bad tank. This is an alright tank. This is a good tank. This is not a bad tank at all. But I just think it's lacking when you compare it to the other ones. Man, I hope y'all are smart enough to turn around and help out, please. Come on, man. This is the problem with low tiers. Everybody wants to, you know, lemming train one way, and nobody wants to think for themselves. Um, as you can see, I can't really show it here, <clears throat> but this tank is incredibly fast. 50 kilometers an hour is, uh, is easy. It's a non-issue for this tank to go that fast. Pay attention, KV-2. Um, as you can see, mobility and speed is important on this tank. It is, uh, more important on this tank than it has been on the Panzer IV, so don't think of this as, um, a really fast, <laughs> speedy, quick, crazy, fast, uh, medium tank. There's nowhere for me to hit on this guy. He is invulnerable no matter where I aim, and he's aiming at me because he's a scumbag. I really don't want to give him too much. I can't do nothing to that Churchill 7. I'm gonna have to rely on my teammates. Well, they're losing the fight for the hill. I'm gonna try to get around here and help out. Um, using the speed of this tank, you would kind of use it to get into an pos advanced position and you would attack everyone. Oh god, and that shot one had no hope. Come on, gun. Reload. Yeah, I got a long range kill on him. Uh, using the advanced positioning of this tank, you would get into position first before everyone, and you basically get a first shot uh, advantage on them. And you would basically use this tank in a very good, um, I wouldn't say a scouting role, but in a very good skirmishing role. And it's a dangerous flanker, this tank. Right, they got two mediums down there, Jumbo, and Lord knows what else. I'm gonna defer. Hey, don't push me, asshole. Get around, go the fuck out of the way, nerd. Use your fucking head, kid. That jumbo is waiting, and I'm not gonna push down there. I really don't want to get caught by that jumbo. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to follow my teammates. I'm not, I'm not gonna get caught up here alone. There's no way I'm gonna win against a jumbo Sherman. I don't have any APCR, neither. Um, fl flanking and sniping is a very good role. It kind of reminds me, this tank reminds me a lot of the uh, VK-30H at uh, back when it was a tier 6 medium tank. Uh, certainly using this tank um, in a similar manner is not a bad idea. And as you can see here, 54 kilometers an hour is nothing to this tank. I mean, this tank moves so damn fast. Already fired. I'm on fire too. And I will apologize, guys, if you know if this gameplay isn't exactly all that great. You know, everybody yolos and they get killed in this game. And uh, these kind of tears, it happens. I mean, stressless. It's stress-free basically. But I'm doing all right. All right, we're gonna run up here. Um, seeing as this match is well in hand, I am gonna try to get. Um, the tier 6 medium ready for review, hopefully shortly. Hopefully I'll have it ready for next week, shouldn't be a problem. I'm actually about 2,000 away from getting it. I'm very excited for it, because I mean, I think the play is a lot better at tier 6. You don't see too much YOLOing. I mean, it happens, but it's not as, doesn't happen as often. Ooh, this KV-2 is going to wear this poor guy out. Yeah, one shot at him. Good stuff. 
Good game, guys. Good game. Um, but that's how you want to use the uh, Panzer 3-4. You use the speed to get into a position quicker before everyone else. Um, sometimes you surprise your, uh, the op for and sometimes you don't. Um, I don't recommend trying to hold one side of the map with this thing just because, well, you get swarmed and you get slaughtered doing that because, you know, low tier, nobody gives a shit, everybody just YOLOs. But that is a um, typical match. And uh, tier, you know, in a tier six match, that's pretty typical for a Panzer three four. You're sort of supporting and fighting, but when you're top tier, you can do some more advanced, aggressive maneuvering. Just be smart about it. Um, I still rank the other tier five mediums better than this thing, just because I feel like they have more armor or the guns are slightly better. But it's still not a bad tank, guys. Good tank overall, but. You kind of want to use it like the VK-30 used to get used in Tier 6. You sort of snipe and uh, do some aggressive flanking in it. Alright guys, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.